Uh, John from CDC. Um, I guess I started playing music back when I was in eighth grade. That's when I first got my first set of drums. My mom got them for me for Christmas, uh, for my birthday actually. And uh, I don't exactly know why I picked up drumming or why I wanted to, but uh, I thought it was fun to make a lot of noise and just hit things, so that's why I started playing, and I never really took uh, like lessons or anything. I, I started taking lessons for a minute, but the guy was trying to teach me snare drum. I didn't care about learning snare drum, so I kind of went off and stopped going there, and then got a set and just started messing around. So um, pretty much self-taught. Not that that's any sort of major accomplishment, but um, so I. I did that from eighth grade. I had a couple bands in middle school. I had a couple bands in high school. One that actually started touring a little bit and just did weekends here and there. And then uh, after I graduated, a year after I graduated, I believe is when CDC started, which was in 2003. So uh, we've, for some reason, been doing this for 13 years. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty crazy 13 years. We've been fortunate enough to go a lot of places and do a lot of really cool things. Um, I think, I guess, if I wanted to list some of the places that we've been that were completely funded by ourselves, uh, we've, we've done Israel, South Africa, uh, the United Arab Emirates, we've been in Morocco, Madagascar, we've done all Southeast Asia, Europe and Eastern Europe. Um, so it's been very cool. I think we're in, we've been like 40 some countries and I believe we're at 46 states as well. So we've traveled a good bit of the world. Uh, we're not quite done yet. We want to go to a lot more places. But we've done everything um, out of pocket and haven't really made anything off this band. We're actually severely in debt right now. But uh, we find it very enjoyable to go to some of the places that we've been. And a lot of people would be like, wow, you wouldn't play the Israel? You wouldn't play Madagascar? That's awesome. How do we get to go there? And it's just like, yo, man, you, you got to be interested in going there first off. And then you also can't be concerned with making money. When we went to Madagascar and Israel, all these places, we basically tell them, listen, we're going to buy our flights. You pay us whatever you can pay us. Uh, if that's nothing, that's nothing. And when we went to Madagascar, it was literally nothing. We didn't, we didn't get anything. We didn't even sell merch because the airline lost it. So... Um, we basically just had fun in Madagascar for three days and didn't make a single cent. Spent a lot of money to go there, but it was it was more than worth it. I think we were probably the first hardcore or heavy band to ever go to Madagascar and to see the expression and the enjoyment on their faces and in their actions, it was all worth it. So we like to go to unique places that are not usually accustomed to the music that we play. I mean, it's great going to Germany and all these other places as well, but going somewhere new, somewhere fresh, somewhere which legitimately probably makes an impact is, is always awesome to us. And they can never pay us, which we don't care about. We, we gladly spend our own money to go to these places. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing no better feeling in the world to, to us. And Brendan and I, my guitar player, are the ones that kind of plan and organize everything and when we do it. We literally will get together with like a globe or a map and we'll be like, where do you want to go? And it's almost like the classic spin the globe and stop. So we'll do that and then we'll try to find bands from that area. We contact the bands and that's how we usually get the shows. So um, that's, yeah, that's basically our guide to traveling the world. Just make the connections and Pay for yourself to get there. Uh, like I said, made, went, made, way too many bands focus on, well, I'm going to be in the red or the black when I go on this tour. And it's like, if you're concerned with breaking even to go to a cool country, I think you're missing the point. So we always, at least we used to be able to do really well in Europe. I still think we do moderately well, not like we used to do. But we used to be able to do well in Europe. And instead of coming home and being like, oh, cool, we each get like $1,000, we would take that money buy tickets to go somewhere else and play somewhere that would not be able to afford to bring us or anything. So that's that's what we've been doing and 
Uh, it, it's been it's been super, uh, I guess, eye opening and humbling to a degree. A lot of the places we've been have been, you know, super third world or you know very filled with poverty and just a lot of poorness all around. And to experience that and see people that have basically nothing, not even like you know two sticks to rub together, and they come out of their shanty town in South Africa with no running water, no electricity, looking like a million bucks in a suit to go to work, it's, it, it's an, it leaves an impression on you. And I'm so used to seeing way too many people on the internet or back at home, you know, crying about their daily life, about stupid, meaningless shit. And you have these people that don't even have running water, and I'm sure they complain, but you know, it's first world problems versus actual problems. So I try to keep that in my mind at all times, and I usually am, you know, a very upbeat individual. So it's usually it's usually uh, pretty positive. So um, yeah, traveling the world has been very cool, and music has never been about money to me. You know, if, if we made money, cool. Um, other people making money off my band is something I do not like, and I've had that happen before. But I don't care about making money off my band. I, I think it's something that we do for fun. I, I work a real job outside of the band, and we do the band for fun when we can. And it's, it's just never been a goal or priority. I guess it'd be cool to be able to survive off the band and be able to tour all the time. But it's never been a goal. It's never been something I cared about or aimed to do. So, yeah. I don't know what else I can really think of. But it's been a fun ride for any bands that are out there that are looking to do things. Um, you can accomplish a lot of things by yourself. You don't need booking agents. You don't need managers. You don't really need anything. You can do it all yourself. We, we've done everything ourselves. Uh, you know, I booked this European tour, I booked every European tour, except for a couple that we did with larger bands. Uh, I booked just about every tour we did in the States, I pretty much booked our entire Asia tour and everything else we've ever done. Um, so, yeah, we even drive ourselves in Europe, so there's a, there's a lot of people that always think you need drivers, or I guess, you know, Europe, for the most part, for a lot of bands, I think it's just a get away from the normal tour, so they enjoy the driver, enjoy being able to you know, not have too much responsibility, but uh, getting around and being successful as a band, successful, is uh, not as hard as I think a lot of people think, and a lot of people are way too engrossed in trying to get management or booking agents because they don't think they can get anywhere without it, and I think that's uh, kind of the opposite of what hardcore should really be about, uh, in my opinion. So. Yeah. I can't really think of anything else, but I appreciate you uh, wanting me to speak, so.